it's Louise here from Product Review by Lou. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm not going to lie, this is my second go at filming this video because I didn't realise my camera wasn't on the last time. And I'm still trying to rub swatches from the back of my hand. So we'll try and get through this and hopefully... Fingers crossed, everything's working. So today is um, my recent ColourPop haul. Now, if you don't know ColourPop, which I'm sure many of you have heard um, on the YouTube community about ColourPop, but ColourPop is a brand that is made in the US of A. It's made in LA. It's not available in the UK. However, they do offer international shipping. Now, I took advantage. They were doing an offer where you spent uh, $50 and you got free international shipping. I'm not gonna lie though, folks, I did get hit with customs, like nearly 20 pound, and I was so annoyed about it. And if you follow me on Twitter, and I'll leave my little links to the social media below, I'd like little sad faces um, of being stung for nearly 20 pounds. But to me, I have been watching uh, YouTube for a long time and as a makeup artist, I really wanted to get my hand on some of the ColourPop stuff, particularly the Super Shock Shadows, which apparently has this really, really bizarre formula that everybody talks about and it definitely does. I have tried all these products out. I have some favourites and I don't think I have any really sort of misses as such. So we're just gonna get into it. I'll show you what I've bought. I'll do a few swatches. I'll maybe um, do a few swatch inserts as well so you can see up close. And I'll give you my overall opinion at the end. So if you would like to learn more about ColourPop, just keep on. Okay, so the first thing I was majorly impressed about with ColourPop, ColourPop isn't an expensive brand. Their individual shadows retail retail for around five dollars which is pretty good and they send this lovely little um brochure in the packages which um there i've just opened it to the page the ultra satin lip and it sort of tells you a little bit about the product and how to apply it how it's stored and all of those sorts of things really nice i mean i have bought some um quite premium brand stuff and there isn't actually this much information in the packages so super impressed with the marketing of ColourPop. so well done there um, so the first thing I wanted to get my hands on being from the UK and not having a chance to get my hands on this before was the collaboration that Kathleen Lights did with Colourpop. So this is her quad. Now it's four shadows, not four shadows in a pan, but look how cute this packaging is, where the light is. And it says Kathleen Lights and her little YouTube logo beside it. You open this bad boy up and it just says, super shock shadows and whenever you open the package the four individual eyeshadows pop out now she has two matte finishes in here she has sort of a lighter creamy one my favorite one which is cornelius which is sort of an everyday kind of transition shade or the type of shade that you could just kind of smudge on the lid and blend out in the crease. They do recommend with the Super Shock shadows that you use your finger to apply and then blend out with a synthetic brush. She also has one called Kathleen Lights, which is adorable um, and it is a satin finish and I'm gonna show you a little swatch of this one um, soon. And then Blaze, which is um, an ultra glitter finish very i mean these four together go really well and i did wear them for a look this week and was very impressed with how easy they were to apply and how super long lasting they are i mean whenever you swatch these in the back of your hand like you really need to go in with an oil product to get them removed super long lasting for five dollars each fantastic you know if you can get past the uk customs stuff that's great the other thing um from kathleen lights that i picked up she did do another quad, which is called Where the Night Is, which was sort of more kind of party shades. But I picked up one color from it and you can buy these now individually. And this is the color Porter. How gorgeous is this? Look at how weird these shadows are. I mean, if I press my finger in here, like you see the dent that it leaves, but look at how pigmented. And they swatch like a dream. This one is sort of like a purpley um, color with gold reflex glitters through it, but not too much glitter. So you could definitely get away with this one in the crease. My favorite color, I think, is definitely this one, Porter, and actually the Kathleen Light shade. In fact, let me show you the Kathleen Light shade here as well. Um, it's like a real 
coppery gold color. How weird is this formula? It looks like mousse, but it's uh, it's a cream to powder finish. So the second that you put this on the skin, it just completely blends. And I mean, a little bit goes, I've put too much on here. A little bit goes such a long way. I mean, look at the pigmentation of that. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that. Absolutely. It's, it's a real coppery, goldy, yellowy, coppery gold. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really love it. And then I'm not finished with caffeine lights yet. I also picked up her Aquarius lippy stick, which is one that she did when she was doing the quad. And this has turned out to be such um, a big craze. Now their lippy sticks are so cute. Um, they come in this white package and they have the color on the end of it. So if you had them stacked upright, you could see clearly what your color was and then the name of the color on it. And these lippy sticks are so cute. They're like a wind up. They nearly remind me of like a marker or a felt tip or something that you would have in school. And they are just, this is absolutely a beautiful nude color. I've just swatched it there on my hand. Um, perfect for every day. It'll go for any eye look. And this color proved to be so popular that this year, they decided to bring back some of the Aquarius colors, only do them in different formats. Um, so I actually bought the, the Aquarius bundle as well by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. Look at how adorable the packaging is. I must say Colourpop's packaging, so cute, so unbelievably cute. So we have an ultra satin lip, which has a lovely satin finish. Again, it's that sort of perfect everyday nude colour. We also have an ultra matte lip, which is Colourpop's version of a liquid lipstick. And I find the formula on these to be grand. A little bit drying, but definitely nowhere near as drying as the Kat Von D. Oh my goodness, I don't think there's anything that's ever been as drying as Kat Von D liquid lips in my entire life. I find the Colourpop ones actually very comfortable and I have wore all of these shades. Um, so, and they dry down really quickly, so you're not waiting for this kind of tacky finish. So that is the Ultra Matte. And then probably my favourite out of the entire range in the Aquarius range is um, the Ultra Glossy Lip. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's very pigmented and you can see it. Hold on, where we go? You can see the Ultra Glossy one there up top just catching the light. An everyday shade that anybody could wear. Absolutely fabulous. Well done to Colourpop, well done to Kathleen Knights. There is nothing in this range that I don't like. Um, as I say, I find the Ultra Satin Lips lovely, although they're not the longest wearing. The Ultra Glossy Lip really well, but as a gloss, you know, it's not gonna be typically as long wearing as a liquid lipstick. And then their Ultra Matte Lip um, is great. And their Ultra Matte one is actually called Aquarius too. So there's a slight difference in the shade. And actually now that it's dried down, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. It's just a little bit darker, still got the same hue and the same undertone, just that little bit darker. And the last thing that I purchased to take me up to my $50, and I think I got quite a lot for $50 here, um, even with the 20 pound customs charge, but we'll get over that. We're not gonna mention it again. Um, so I bought another Colourpop um, trio and this is called the Out and About Mixed Finish Bundle and sometimes you can get really good deals on these bundles. What I'll do is I will leave the prices below or if I can pop them on the screen I'll do that for you. So we have a Viper which is an ultra matte lip which is what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. I know it's a fall colour, I know it's spring but it's a very Louise colour to wear kind of a bolder lip. I'm all about the bold lips. I do love my neutrals, do not get me wrong, and I will be making use of all the Aquarius colours in here, and they're great to have added to the makeup kit. There is a colour called Times Square, which is um, sort of like a darker brown colour, and then Barracuda, which is an ultra satin lip. And sorry, I forgot to say that Times Square is the ultra matte, which is the liquid lipstick. So, in terms of Viper then, as I said, this is the one that I am Currently, it is actually, you know, it's a little bit darker than um, on camera, maybe, than, than what it is in the tube. But I'll swatch this for you. It's absolutely stunning. 
and they dry down so fast and they last forever I mean you're gonna have to take a good makeup remover to get these off and they wear off actually I was out for a couple of cups of coffee today and there was a little bit of wear just in the inner mouth but nothing weird or patchy or gross you know just needed a wee quick top up and it was 100% the ultra matte lip in Times square I wore this yesterday actually and really enjoyed it it's a very browny color that's it there. I mean, not that dissimilar to the Aquarius color, but on the lips, it definitely looks that more sort of chocolatey brown. Um, again, really, really nice color and very comfortable to wear on the lips. I have no problem with these lip um, kits. I know people have said that their liquid lips are quite dry. Personally, I haven't found that. I have found them to be really comfortable. And then an ultra satin lip in the color Barracuda. Look at how pretty. This is another Louise colour, really. Look at how pretty this is. Pretty. And the Ultra Satin Lip doesn't die, doesn't die down, doesn't dry down completely matte. So it is a wee bit more comfortable to wear. Definitely say, I have tried an awful lot of liquid lipsticks. Um, I cannot wear the Kat Von D ones. They are so dry. They leave you like, butthole lip dry do you know what I mean the Colourpop ones I don't mind them at all and actually you can layer these um what I did earlier let me see if I can find it is I have had this Rimmel bad boy for a long time like you, I can't even tell you the name it is so old and what I have done is gone over the top with this and it's a bit like the clinic sort of chubby sticks there's not I'm sort of having to contort myself. There's not a whole lot of um, color payoff for these, just a little bit, but they're more moisture adding. And you can certainly put something like this on over the top of a liquid lipstick, over the top of the ColourPop liquid lipsticks, and it'll add a little bit of moisture to your lip. In fact, I'll do that now. So you can see. And it just adds a little bit of a sheen. It doesn't interrupt the formula underneath. It'll not take away from the wear time or anything. So I was really happy. Even with my customs charges, I was super, super happy with this haul. Um, I have used all the colors in here. I really cannot wait to get playing about a bit more and to get these into my makeup kit. The only thing that does annoy me as a makeup artist is that because these have a very special formula, it does advise you to keep them quite tightly locked in. Um, whereas I'm used to working from palettes and not having to screw and unscrew things. Um, quite a minor thing if you're buying these for yourself and, you, you know, and you're using them for yourself. I know they have come out with their pressed pan shadows and it'll be something that I really want to try. Now that I have discovered the range and I do like the range, I think their packaging is really cute. I think their formula and their eyeshadows is so unique. Never seen anything like it. If you have friends in America, see if they can get them ordered to you and if they're coming over to the UK or Ireland, definitely. Otherwise, if you can get, sign up to the ColourPop website, I think they give you $5 off your first order if you put in your email address. This isn't sponsored by the way, just quick disclaimer. And if you can bear the customs charges, what I would say is save up your money and if there's quite a lot of different types of shadows that you want to invest in, try and get as much as you can so that whenever you are hit with the customs charges, it is worth your money to do that. And if you can get the international shipping from ColourPop as well, it doesn't make it too bad. Um, and that's it folks. I really, really pleased about this. I'm glad I've got a positive video. Really delighted the package was here in really no time at all. It didn't take that long. It took less than a week to get from America to here since I placed my order. I feel like for the money that I have spent, I have an awful lot, like I'm not even going to be able to hold all these, but I have an awful lot of product, you know, and 
<laughs> Look at all the swatches there. But definitely an awful lot of product for the money. I think it's really well worth it. If you're in America, definitely check these out. I know that they do um, sometimes free domestic shipping as well. So if you're lucky enough to get that, definitely go for it. And that's it, folks. If you want to hit the subscribe... If you want to hit the subscribe button, go ahead. That would really, really help me out. There is a bell. It's not a bell, that's a square. There is a bell below if you want to ding that bell and then you get notified anytime I, I upload. Jeepers, I can't talk today. Um, I am going to try and upload at least two videos a week, so stay tuned for that. And this has been a great review. Love the brand, love the packaging, love the formula. So... That's it from me, folks. Uh, I'll leave my social media links below as well. If you did like this video, give it a wee thumbs up. That will help. Look at the state of the arm. Do you know, this is going to take me oil to get this off because these are super pigmented. Um, okay, folks, I've rattled on enough. I've taken enough of your time. Um, I hope to see you again in my next video. Cheers for watching and bye for now. Bye.